Supporting community without fatigue and without fail. Supporting employees well beyond the paycheck. Constantly innovating in search of a better way to do things, even when you're already on top. Congratulations, Rexius. Springfield Area Chamber of Commerce 2023, pillar of the community. Well, it's a huge honor, first of all, that that was, it's a surprise on the one hand, and on the other hand, I'm like, wait a minute, that's what we're trying to be about, is establishing ourselves. It's not just somebody that everybody knows about, they see the name on our trucks or whatever, but rather they recognize that when they hear Rexius, they think about the contribution that we've made to the community for almost 100 years. Rexius is a lot different than it was 90 years ago when my grandfather started the company. We started off just selling sawdust for heating buildings and eWeb in the University of Oregon. Saul Rexius uh, started just uh, picking up extra lumber at lumber mills around town, and it uh, has morphed into uh, recycling and landscaping. We have offices in Portland and Bend and Eugene. Now we've got 12 different divisions of all different types of stuff, all the way to manufacturing equipment. And we, we run the whole gamut from uh, maintenance to construction. Anything you've seen that's been built on the U of O campus uh, has been landscaped by us, whether it's Autzen or uh, the new track, Hayward, or any of those facilities. We do a ton of work at the U of O. We have for, for decades. I happen to be a huge Duck fan. We've been season ticket holders at, at football and basketball for many, many, many years. Just that alone, I think, makes this place a great a great place to live uh, because of the interaction and involvement that we get to have with the U of O. And I think that's probably a widely held sentiment that it's a big part of our community. I started working here when I was probably 11, 12, something like that. This is why I went to school was to have this job work here. I never had intentions of working anywhere else. Actually, the first year, I just put signs on the back of the truck after they got a load of bark that said, bark mulch from Rexius. That was my job. I got a dollar an hour. I'm an employee whose full-time job is to travel around the community and find ways we can touch and impact the community, be it uh, a new running trail for kids, uh, uh, helping a, in an area that uh, low income, a uh, playground, or whatever it may be, uh, to uh, providing uh, impact at Christmas time for places like shelter care, the relief nursery. My grandfather would, if he was alive, would be amazed at what it's become, what he started. He started had a culture that he had in mind based on biblical principles and family. And he kept that going for the 35 years that he ran it basically by himself. 35 years later, when my father and Rusty's dad started running the company, they saw that and they saw that it worked and uh, they kept that family and that same culture. When Rusty and I took it over like 20 years ago, we saw that that worked and um, we believe it. And uh, we're really known for the culture that we have here that is very endearing to people that want to stay and work here. I typically sign all of our paychecks, 300 of them now, uh, every two weeks. Every time we do that, that's a family that we have been able to help support. Those very people who have been able to make their living here can turn right around and and make their contribution to the community in, in just a variety of ways. When I, when I first started, it was uh, it was it was things like at, at Christmas time uh, finding some families in the community that just uh, probably weren't going to have Christmas. The same way at Thanksgiving time, finding families that uh, um, you know probably wouldn't have Thanksgiving if we didn't provide for them. Things like going to the Eugene Mission, uh, providing them with all the turkeys they needed. It, it's gone from that and and kind of morphed just. Uh, that times a hundred. That really is where the pillarness, if that's a word, begins and maybe even ends, is, is those that have come out of this place and been able to contribute in a significant way, whether that's through their sports teams, churches, nonprofits, schools, I mean, you name it, we've had hundreds of people that have, that have been a part of the Rexius family and company that have been able to contribute in ways that I think have been super meaningful for, for a long time.